Bring the thumb and index fingers together, relax your shoulders, draw the elbows in, and feel a little contraction, a little bit of bracing around the core, around the back and belly. So you feel like you're not just slouching into your heels or down through your chest. Begin with five easy breaths through the nose. Just noticing a soft inhale, soft long exhale. The inhale might lift the chest, widen the heart space. The exhale relaxes the shoulders down to feel the neck a little longer. As you exhale, tip your chin towards your chest. Bring the chin down to the top of the chest and then draw the shoulder blades together. Good. Exhale to relax your shoulders, lift your chin, look towards the ceiling. Exhale down, chin to the chest. Inhale to look up. Exhale, looking down, chin to the chest, feeling that nice stretch right from the shoulder blades all the way up towards the back of the neck. Once more. Good. Bringing yourself back to center. And we'll turn the head to the right, looking over the shoulder. Exhale. To center, to the left. Exhale. Again to the right. Exhale. So let your simple movement of turning the head is be very mindful of the movement as you follow the breath. The exhale completes the, that uh, movement as you bring it back to center. And we'll take it to the right and the left one more time. Good. Once you return your head to center, right ear to right shoulder. Drop your left hand to the floor, walk it out from your body, so away from the foot or the leg, and then you'll point your nose down towards that side of the room or the floor. So your ear still drops to the shoulder as now you tuck your chin or nose towards that shoulder. And then you turn your nose to look forward, ear towards the shoulder, and again, just drop the nose looking down. The hand that's out on the floor, your left hand, just reaches to bring a little bit more uh, length into that whole side from the left side of the neck all the way to the shoulder. Once you point your nose down, roll your head to center, bring your left hand back in and your head comes up. Left ear, left shoulder, right hand to the floor, wherever it reaches, relax your shoulders. Don't feel that you have to pull your head down and round your side body or curve to the side. Let yourself be very centered as you find whatever degree of reach there is on that right side. And then begin to turn your nose towards the floor. So keeping the head tilted to the left as you point your nose forward, as you point your nose down. Let this be very slow if it feels good to hang out on either side of these movements. Do so. Also try to not lean to that one side. You're keeping yourself even through the spine, torso. Once your nose points down, roll your head to center, chin to the chest, hand to the thigh, and the head comes up. Roll your shoulders up and back. One more roll of the shoulders. Good. And then you're going to lean forward, come onto all fours into your tabletop. In your tabletop, make sure your hands are right below your shoulders and your knees below your hips. 
We're going to retract and protract the shoulder blades. So you're going to sink your chest down through your arms to feel your shoulder blades pulling inward. Retracting them inward and then protract as you push, you're bro broadening the upper back as they slide out from the center of your body. So you're sinking down and then lifting up from the chest. Try this without, uh, without bending the elbows. Try to get this movement into the shoulders and into the upper back. It's an inhale to sink down and it's an exhale to push to lift up. Good. From here, straightening up the arms, lifting up the chest, curl the toes under and lean away from your hands to take the weight off the wrists. Keep your toes curled. Good. And then leaning forward and take your shoulders just a little further over the top of your hands. So you're bringing just a little more stretch that you might notice in the forearms and into the wrists. So I'm just taking the shoulders a little more over the wrist towards the center of my hand. And then leaning back. Inhale to lean forward, come to center. Make fists with your hands, curl in your fingers and push your fists down into the floor so your palms face your knees. And then you're going to Gently unravel the right hand and let the back of the hand press against the floor. So you're giving a stretch into the top of the wrist and that um, forearm. So the fingers point towards your knee of your right hand only. Stretch out the fingers. Good. And then flip that hand back over. Press to the hand. And then make a fist. Palm faces the knee. The left hand now. Stretch open the fingers. Gently open up the fingers as you lean into the top of that left hand. Shoulders are low, neck feels long. The amount of weight that you bring into that wrist or into that hand is supported. So you're not pushing or just letting go into it. As you exhale, flip the hand over, press down. Good. Make a fist with that hand. Turn your fists in so your palms face inward. Push down, curl the toes, lift your knees two inches off the floor, or three. Hug up the tummy, press through your heels, use your core up and back. Neck feels long, you're pressing through your forearms. Good. As you exhale, down, uncurl the toes, lean back, child's pose with your arms forward palms down. With your arms out in front, shoulder width apart. Good. On your next breath, up to all fours, down to your tummy, chin to the floor, cobra breath in, and down. Bring your arms beside you, forehead on the floor, and bring your arms up away from the floor. So you're really squeezing in the upper back, firming up the upper arms. Keep your forehead on the ground as you lift both legs. As you lift the limbs, you're also reaching away from the front of your mat. The forehead stays down. As you reach the shoulders to the fingers and the hips towards the toes, and you're working from the core to the back. Let those limbs just hang where they are. Don't feel you have to go higher than what feels good. Two more breaths. Good, release down, exhale. Hands below shoulders, cobra, breath in, elbows in, and down. Tabletop, child's pose, toes stay curled. Now from here, keep the toes curled and lean forward into a half plank. Forward, shoulders over hands, Full plank, lift, and down, child's pose, sink back. Keep your toes curled, inhale forward, half plank, full plank, hold, and down, and back. 
One more, breath in, forward. Use the abdominals, feel your legs, full plank. Good, and down. Child's pose, uncurl your toes. Relax your shoulders, settle into your uh, fingers, your wrists, your shoulders, and your upper back is wide. Now, that sequence of child's pose, half plank, full plank, I want to skip the half plank. You can continue to do what we just did or try to skip the half plank. So, inhale, lift up, curl the toes, full plank, hold, knees to the floor, and back. Inhale up, lift, and down. Continue this movement, lifting, full plank, child's pose. On your breath, inhale forward and up, exhale to the floor and back. Understand your shoulders moving down from your ears, your core and thighs are working. Breath is in a rhythm that supports your movement from plank to child's pose. One more. Once you come up into plank, walk your feet all the way into the front of your mat. So you're standing forward at the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway up. Feet are hip width apart. And down. Inhale, lift halfway up. And down. Right foot back, lunge. Downward dog. Good. Right foot forward. Lunge. Charge through your left heel. Press down through your right foot. Step forward. Halfway up. Lengthen the back. Forward fold. Halfway up. Good, exhale, left foot back, downward dog, exhale, left foot forward, lunge, charge through your right foot, press and plug down into your left, and exhale, step forward, halfway up, all the way down, halfway up. Lengthen your back. Exhale down, right foot back, lunge. Note, lower your right knee to the floor, both arms come up. Sink into your left foot and your hips. Arms are right up above your shoulders. And really press down into your left foot and begin to lift, if you like, and if it's not too much of a challenge, lift your right knee from the floor, a high lunge. Push through your right heel, plug down into your left, focus directly forward, or down towards the floor and soften your face. Use your core, plug it in and down. Exhale to lean forward. Take your right hand to the floor, make a fist and turn yourself to the left as you open up your left arm to the ceiling and turn the chest to that thigh. Keep your left foot pressing down and the knee over the ankle. Draw your right shoulder away from your ear and press that right shoulder blade into your back. The top arm comes over the ear. Extend from the fingers to the lower toes. Reach through the side body. Keep your tummy turned towards that inner thigh. We exhale to lower and take the hand down to the inside of your leg. So you have both hands now inside of your left foot. Move your hands apart so they're in line with your shoulders. Keep your left foot flat on the floor in line with your back foot and begin to lean back. Sink your hips back and your left leg straight. You can move your hands a little bit, but if it feels like you're just tugging on the hamstring of your left side, lean forward a little bit with that bent knee. Your head is low. 
your arms are kind of pulling in. So think of a, a yoga strap around your upper arms, keeping them aligned and parallel. That'll bring some intensity to the upper back and the outer shoulders. Good. We exhale to lean forward. Wiggle your left foot out. Step back. Your downward dog. Forward plank. Knees, chest, chin to the floor. Forehead to the floor. Bring your arms back beside you. And then lift your arms, lift your shoulders. Keep your forehead down. Don't lift it. And then lift both legs. And pull up your tummy, pull up your limbs. And squeeze those back muscles. Feel there's still a strap around your upper arms. Feel like there's a strap around your thighs and you want to break it open so there's that work in the legs. Shoulders away from ears, neck feels long and face is soft. Exhale, down. Hands below shoulders, cobra, little lift. To the floor, to tabletop, to downward dog. In downward dog. Step your right foot forward, lunge. Lower onto your left knee, both arms up. Relax your shoulders and position your feet, uh, either the right toes uh, pressing down, the heel planted, the left toes curled under so you get the energy to lift up. And then as you inhale, lift into a high lunge, charge through your left heel, keep your right knee over your ankle. Good. Keep the tailbone kind of tucking down. It's okay to bend your left knee a little bit, but don't lose the integrity of what your right thigh, knee, foot and ankle are doing to support your weight here. You want to stay nice and tall. The heat builds, so accept it, receive it. We lean forward just a little bit, lengthen here. Gives you a moment to look down to see your right leg and foot. And then you lower your left hand to the floor, make a fist, turn your right arm up, pull your shoulders down, and turn your tummy towards that inner leg. You're still very strong through your left leg. Your left shoulder blade moves into your back, so your shoulders are even and low from your ears. You can look up to challenge your balance, or look sideways with your head even. Good. Now, one more breath. The heat builds. Use your breath. Top arm is over the ear. Lengthen here. Feel yourself extending and reaching and then pulling everything back into center. Center in the forearms, center in the palms, center in the core, center in the legs and feet. When you start to exhale, turn towards the ground. Both hands flat on the floor, move your right foot out. Don't let your foot leave the mat. Readjust your hands below your shoulders. And then lean back, straightening your right leg. Plug your foot to the floor. Don't lift the toes. Don't roll onto the heel. Notice here that your back heel is always sinking towards the floor as you're shifting your hips just a little bit down into the right side to feel an evenness there. One more breath. Good. You lean forward, wiggle your foot out, downward dog, forward plank, downward dog again, forward plank, knees, hips, chest and chin to the floor, forehead to the floor, tuck in your chin, arms up. Remember, you've got a strap around your upper arms and you're pulling in as you're pushing out. Lift your legs. You have a strap around your thighs. You want to pull out as it pulls you in. Use the core. Understand it's lifting a little bit. Face is soft. Shoulders away from ears. The most integrity here is trying to find the core to help your legs to understand your shoulders. Good. 
As you exhale, lower down. Hands below shoulders, legs together, cobra. And release. Bring your left arm forward, right foot and hand touch. Grab the foot. And then lift the foot from the floor and push the knee back and the foot back as you try to draw the right hip to the ground. You're still lifting the thigh, but you're evening out the pelvis for a better stretch. Your head is up, your left hand supports you out there in front. If this is easy, perhaps take your left hand off the floor and point the thumb up. And you feel two points in your body lifting. Lower down with the hand if you have it up. Relax your thigh down, release your leg. Both hands below shoulders, up and back to child's pose. Take a long breath out here. Inhale, long exhale. Good, inhale forward, half plank, full plank, downward dog. Shoulders away from ears, upper arms out from the head. Good, forward plank. Knees down, chest down. Good, legs together. Right leg, pardon me, right arm forward. Reach back to grab the top of the left foot. And in this position, notice that you don't have to lift your left thigh. You don't have to lift your right hand but just try to find a, a height as you press into the belly, into the tummy. If you are lifting your left thigh, you're pushing that foot into the hand and the knee away from your hip, keeping the hip to the ground. So again, if it feels easy, lift your right hand, point the thumb up. The arm is aligned with your ear or your chin, no higher. So feel that your legs are still in, not stretched out. A nice stretch for that left thigh. Some work in the back and core, tummy. And release, and release. Hands below shoulders, up to table, child's pose. Forward into plank, downward dog. From your downward dog, step forward or jump forward to your hands. Halfway up, forward fold, halfway up, lengthen your back, and then bending your knees, bring your feet together, toes in, heels in, chair, arms up, try to keep your chin over your sternum, long neck, and the seat is comfortable, you've only dropped down a little bit, try to avoid leaning over your legs, be as tall as you can with a heaviness in your hips. Reach from your underarms to your pinky fingers. One straight line from there to there. Legs are together, feeling like you're holding a book between your knees. Good. Lower your arms. Stand up tall. And then inhale, sweep your arms up for a little back bend. And then a forward fold. Right foot back, warrior two. Arms over legs. In your warrior two. Straighten your front knee. Good. Look to your right. Turn your chest to the right. Both arms up. So this will be the second of these two movements. Here, as you um, inhale, exhale, warrior two. Arms down, knee forward. Inhale here, where you just were. Exhale here. Reach up. Engage the inner legs. Sink down. Exhale. Inhale, squeeze in the inner legs. Feel like you're trying to hold a big beach ball between the legs when you straighten up. Looking to the right over your chest as you lift. Looking forward over your left hand as you drop. One more. Here. And then here. Your right hand is going to come forward. I'm going to reach for my front leg. Place the hands on the knee. Pivot onto your back toes. And then hold on to that thigh, or wrap, rest your hands around uh, the top of the thigh, and push through your right heel. Good. 
Good. We lower down onto the right knee. Both hands on the inside of the leg. I'm lifting my right foot from the floor. I'm going to pivot on the right knee just to give a little bit of a kickstand to the next pose or the stretch. Walk your hands off to the right. Hands are away from your chest, away from your shoulders, a little wider than your shoulders. And my left knee is still bent and facing the foot, which is facing forward to the end of the mat. Begin to circle yourself around the shoulders and the hips. So you find this nice smooth movement in one direction from the wrist to the shoulders, to the knee, that right knee, the right hip. Good, and then as you lean forward into your hands, kick your right foot back, pivot on the knee, walk both hands back to center, walk your left leg out, get ready to sit back to downward dog. Up, kick the left leg back, your downward dog, Look at your feet, recognize your shoulders and upper back and upper arms are out and strong. Your shoulder blades feel like they firm up against your back. Breathing in, breathing out. Try not to pull your chest or your upper body towards your knees. So don't pull in the upper back, broaden the upper back and keep your head aligned with the tip of the tail. Forward plank, knees to the ground, chest to the floor, cobra to the ground, forehead down, arms and legs lift up behind you. Lift the limbs. So no matter how high you lift your legs and arms, feel like they're being pulled away from your head, away from your body. They're reaching to the back of the room. Let your chin tuck in. Good, exhale to lower, cobra, little lift to the floor. Good, child's pose, rest back to child's pose. Good, long breath out. Up to all fours. Downward dog, jump or step forward, halfway up, lengthen your back, walk your feet close together, chair pose, sweep up your arms, sit down deep, squeeze in your legs, lengthen from your ribs, armpit, elbow and pinky finger. If your arms and your neck don't like the height of this position for your upper body, your arms can stick out in front or rest your hands onto your thighs but glue your legs together and push through your heels. The more you feel you push through your heels, the stronger you bring uh, some energy into the glutes. When you exhale, drop your arms, stand up tall, sweep your arms up and forward fold. Left foot back, warrior two. My back is to you and I apologize. Arms over legs. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle. Then you're gonna lift your arms and turn your head to the left. Straighten your right knee. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Understand how your right knee tracks over the foot and then back. So find all those moving parts in your body, your shoulders, your upper back, the knee, the pelvis, the feet, the ankle, little tiny itty bitty movements. Squeeze in the legs so your right thigh really firms up when you straighten it. Your right leg feels firm. One more. Good. Warrior two, left hand moves forward. Both hands rest on your thigh. Keep your right knee over your ankle and your left foot flat on the floor, lean forward just a little bit more. Good. As you start to exhale, reach for the ground, pivot onto your back toes, 
Lower down onto your left knee. Pivot onto your left knee. Use your left leg as a little bit of a kickstand as you walk your hands over to the left side, further away from your chest. And you can straighten your right knee a little bit, but don't lock the knee down. Okay? And you're going to move your hips in a circle as you move your shoulders in a circle. Good. You'll come back to center. Walk your hands back in. Pivot on that left knee. Walk your foot out and step back to dog. Okay. Forward into plank. Downward dog. Forward into plank. Half plank. Knees down. Upward dog. Drop your shoulders. Pull your arms into your sides. Point your toes. And rest on your knees so you can pull up and lengthen upward and then lift your knees if you have that work in your arms you want to find feel like you're bracing your arms with a strap around your torso outer arms breathe tuck up the tummy chin level with the floor breath is through the nose and then we sit down and we rest back Take a long breath here, wiggle your legs apart, rest a little further. Slowly pull your hands in below your shoulders, lifting your head off the floor a little bit. Lifting up, scoop your feet to one side and then come around to sit on your bottom. Come into this position with your feet aligned with your hips. Your hands are back behind you, your fingers point away. You're going to lift your hips off the floor. Pull your shoulder blades together. Don't let your head fall back. Look forward or up towards the ceiling, but don't let your head fall back. If you, lift, if, if you had to talk with your head back, it'd be a little more difficult to hear or to make those sounds. So you want to know, know that you can still talk with your head in a neutral position. And down. Inhale, lift up, and down. So I want you to know that if this is awkward, just lifting the butt off the floor feels a little too strenuous for your arms or your shoulders, then this is all I want you to do. I want you to notice if this is okay. One more time. Good. And then once you lift up, take your left hand off the floor, lean into your right, and lift it up and over. So you're looking down to the right side. You can see your hand on the floor. You're lifting your hips comfortably, not overstraining, and you're getting a nice stretch as you turn your tummy towards that right side. Left arm is over the head. Now to make this a tabletop, you know where you're kind of going here. You kind of point your toes a little to that right side and just turn over and plug back down onto your toes. Don't drop your knees. If you have to, that's okay to reset your hands. Lift your knees. And now in reverse. This is your left foot going up. Take it back behind you. Drop it to the floor. Get into your hand. Arm goes up. And down. To the hips. Hold on to the back of your legs. Roll down. Arms go, legs go up. Press through your heels. Relax your shoulders. Good. We'll bend the knees to the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then rock yourself so you sit back up. Hands behind you. Fingers point back. Lifting your chest. Lifting your hips. Now I want you to try this on the other side. So we did it to the right, we'll do it to the left. Take your uh, right hand up, open up over your arm, reach, look over that uh, left side, right arm extends, and then you just point your knees to that same side as you tip over. Stay on your knees, uh, stay off your knees for a moment. If you have to come down, come down and rest. 
and then in reverse. Right hand goes up, right foot goes up, tip, touch down. Uh, from here, rest onto your hips. Roll down onto your back. Knees into your chest. And feet go up. Hang on to the back of your legs, relax your shoulders. Good. Exhale to bend at the knees, sink into your back, your hips, your shoulders. Good. Now we're just going to take a little moment here just to rest. So lower your feet, drop your arms. Good. We'll bring the knees to the chest. And then uh, cross your feet, lift your head. We're going to rock back and forth and then pop up. Your feet don't uncross, keep them crossed and sit high on your sit bones. Relax your shoulders, keep your feet just off the floor. Pull in the tummy. Good, and then as you exhale, just roll back and roll into your shoulders. Legs up behind you and then roll it back again. Sitting nice and tall. Find your sit bones, let there be some wiggling, let there be some movement. And then again, as you exhale, roll back, let your legs go over your head, and up, sit nice and tall. Now this time, uncross your feet, place your hands behind the back of your legs, and extend your feet and knees forward as you lean back to lengthen your arms. And then with a little squeeze, just pulse in, extend, exhale, pulse in, and reach, and squeeze. One more time and squeeze. Good. Extend and then roll back down. Good. Rest here on your back, head to the floor, feet flat. Move your arms straight up from your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. You're going to roll yourself up. Come around onto hands and knees. In your hands and knees position, we're going to kind of return to what we were doing earlier, taking your knees off the floor, and then you're going to lean back, but not to lift your hips into downward dog, but to lean your heels and your hips together. So you're pushing your hands forward and your hips and heels down. Good. And then lean forward, rest onto your knees, Uncurl your toes and roll yourself up so you're standing up on your knees. Arms go up, reach for the ceiling, and then forward, nice and tall. So we're going to pull the belly button back. Think of cat pose. Open the arms up wide, open your chest, and then you have to bring your hips almost to your heels as you round your back. And wrap your arms around a big, huge tree. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze the core in. Don't let your hips touch your heels. Do this a few times. Wake up the shoulders, wiggle out the fingers, strengthening the hips and the glutes and the core. Good. Two more. Get this big curve in your back. Really use those muscles that are below the belly button. And here you are. Once you come up nice and tall, release your arms. Roll your shoulders up and back. And then I'm going to have you come down onto hands and knees. And if you have a blanket or a towel, you can use to support your head. This is going to wake up the chest, take tension out of the neck. So I'm going to face you this way with my uh, left side on the floor, side of the head on the ground, or a block. And you're going to bring your knees together and in line, knees in line with your hips. So just tuck up the knees, okay? Your legs don't move here, they stay this position. Take both hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, and wrap your arms around your head, and draw the elbows together so your elbows and knees point on that same side. 
We're going to rest onto that block or onto your hand. Inhale to turn towards the ceiling as you open your top arm up. So you're turning to look up, turning your chest a little to the ceiling. Exhale and close. Bring it back in. Inhale to open. Roll into your head, roll into the back of the head as waking up that, that um, right arm. A couple times here. At least five. So you might feel like you want to lift that top knee, but let them stay connected as you turn from the belly button and you open up the underarm and you feel a little slip of that right shoulder blade into your back. One more. We'll do the other side after this. I'll turn so I face you. Good. And then from this position, straighten your top leg when you come back to center. Right arm goes over your head and away from your shoulder. So you're pointing your arm away from that straight top leg. Both limbs are extended. Very similar to what we do when we're on our hands and knees. Reaching. My right foot is just off the floor a tiny little bit. So I'm working a little bit more into the back of the leg and the core as you tuck in the tummy. Now we've done this also, but this is quite the lazy version. Draw your elbow and knee together. Squeeze in the tummy. Keep those limbs in line with your shoulder and hip. Extend and draw the armpit open, draw the thigh and the hip crease open, and then squeeze. Keep them low, don't have to lift high. That's two, we'll do one more, we'll do five in total. That's three and four. Breathe in, exhale, pull it all together. Last one. Good. Extend the leg, put your hand on the floor, press yourself up. I'm going to turn myself around. You just turn yourself so you can see. Use a block or a towel if you use it on the first side. We come around here. You might notice that there's that big gap between your ear and the floor. Uh, your arm might not support that. So a little block or just a towel folded up will give you some comfort. Hands behind your head. Knees tucked up. And we'll do this side. Start here first and kind of pull in everything. So you're going to want to tuck in your chin, lift up your knees, and feel how tight you are here. And then as you start to inhale, just look up and roll open. And then exhale to close. Please follow your breath. Four more. If you find that you're having to exhale through your mouth, don't move into this position too far. You might be extending the movement and not linking it to the breath. You know, so keep that breath uh, and body movement aligned. Then you'll find better results rather than stressing to go further than you need to. Good. And you'll do one more after this next one. Good. And once you come together with your elbows close, looking towards that side, extend your top leg, top arm, and reach. Extend the arm away from your shoulder with your upper arm in line with your ear. And your top foot is just off the floor an inch or so. Reaching. So three times, five times rather, we'll do the elbow and knee crunch. So exhale, squeeze it together. Inhale, widen the chest, open the armpit and wake up the thigh. And then pull it all together. Keep them low, don't let them lift higher than your body. Notice the shoulder more than anything here. I want you to really notice how you can... Uh, bring some movement into the upper back and the tricep with this movement. Last one. One more. Good. And then from here, you're going to extend your leg with your hand on the floor, press yourself up, bring yourself around to the other side. We're going to do one little plank on our side. So now I'm on my left side where we started. On my forearm, legs are straight, legs are out. Point your toes in, top leg comes up and in. So I'm going to use this right foot to support and lift. Okay, top hand up and over, wrap it around the side of the head and just gently tuck the uh, right ear in towards that um, 
uh, bent knee or the inside of your body. So you feel there's a little bit of length here on that outer side of the neck. Now I'm going to really push through my straight leg, my lower leg, and my arm as I lift the hips and draw the ribs up, head comes down a little bit, and then here, back to center, release. Inhale, push through the foot, push through the leg, and down. One more. And down. Now, from here, straighten the leg, scoop around, other side. Legs are straight, feet are flexed. Make a fist with your hand on the floor so you don't collapse into your shoulder. Top foot comes up. It feels very awkward to bring that foot right up. Keep the knee away. Put the foot where it has to be and flex your straight foot leg. Hand around the head. Now this is only to be aware of the stretch you're bringing into that one side that already worked. And then you hold on to your head. You let it tip away. Wake up that armpit and push and lift. And down. Three in total. Give it a little stretch here. Wake up that shoulder and push. Really push into that, stri that straight, strong leg. And down. One more. And release. Good. Extend your leg. Bring your feet out in front. Legs are straight. Arms out in front of you, sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Press through your feet, lift up through your lower back, lift up through your chest, arms are forward. You're going to lean back just a little bit, slight angle, just until you start to feel that there's some work required to kind of hold you from falling back. Through your legs, lower back pulls forward towards the belly button, shoulders are low. This slight angle here. When you start to exhale, lean forward and push the air out. Reach. Look forward through your hands. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, reach forward. You'll feel this nice stretch that comes across the back of the legs. Finding a little bit more balance in these points on the floor from your heels to your hips. Good, last one. Leaning back, understanding your core, your back, your shoulders, and then push the air out. As you lift up, find yourself coming down onto your back. We'll bring a block of pillow or a towel under your head, supporting the neck. And arms up to your sides. So just take a moment to feel all the warmth in your body. You feel quite warmer through the fingers, the shoulders, the back. Good. On an inhale, lift up both arms. Reach for your right knee, give a little hug. Exhale to lift your head. Inhale down with the head, and let's do that again. Exhale, lift the head, pull the nose to the knee, all the way down. Exhale to lift. One more. Good. And then we release, lower the foot, arms go up. Reset your feet and then reach for your left. Five times, lift your head. Inhale down. Exhale to lift. Feel the um, work from the core, the breath out from the belly. The nice long stretch from the mid back to the neck. Last one.
Once you roll down, take your foot to the floor. Straighten both legs. If you have a bolster or a comfortable pillow for underneath your legs, let your arms reach out from your sides. Rest your legs. A few minutes in Shavasana. Relax your exhale through your mouth. Relax your shoulders and your chest. Let your thumb and index fingers touch. Take a breath. And as you finish the exhale, feel those two fingers disconnect. Notice your eyes, quiet, soft, and heavy, the forehead smooth. Each exhale softening the upper chest, the throat, and the jaw, softening your shoulders, your arms, and your fingers. Notice that your face is still soft, the inner walls of your mouth relaxed, the space from the jaw to the neck, the upper back, your hips, notice your feet, and the thighs are soft, the thighs are heavy and relaxed. Begin to wiggle your fingers and turn your head side to side. As you turn your head slowly, let your upper back lift a little bit so you kind of want to pull your shoulders out from underneath your body. You might want to just push into your head a little bit to kind of unlock the upper back. And then as your head comes back to center, bend at your knees. Take your arms up and down behind you. Good. Take your arms up, all the way down beside you. And then without lifting your head, take your chin closer towards the top of your chest or towards the base of your neck. Don't lift your head to do this. Just sort of squeeze it in so you feel some length in the back of the neck. And then move it the other way. Take the chin away from the chest or the throat and just feel a very slight arch in the neck. 
and then slide it back down and feel the length in your neck. A couple times. Remember, you're not lifting your head to do this. You're just extending and lengthening the space of the neck itself. Good. Take your knees and roll onto your right side. Press yourself up. Cross-legged or kneeling position, whichever one you like. Place your hands on your knees with your palms up, and thumb and index fingers touch. Drop your shoulders down, extend from the mid-back to the chest, up through the back of the neck to the crown. Just for a moment, appreciate your commitment, the gratitude, Slide the hands in and to the heart. We finish our practice with Namaste, with peace.